This is a clone of the MC14500 microcontroller or industrial control unit. Um, I couldn't find the actual device itself, so what I've done is I've made it from these nine ICs here. And I've got a ROM, the program counter, which is separate to the actual device, and some static memory. These LEDs here are displaying a few things. We've got the clock, which is running maybe 4 hertz or something. The write gate, which pulses low whenever it wants to write to memory, which is there. Uh, this one here clocks whenever we get information to tell it to write from memory into the result register, which is about that IC there. And then we've got the result register itself, which is only flashing on and off, because the program itself is to read from location zero, write the complement, which is the inverse, like put it through a NOT gate or whatever, inverter, to location one, then read from location one into the result register, and then write the complement back to location zero, then jump to the back to the start of the program. So that means we have a relatively even pulse except for when it jumps, which is now, now, and uh, yeah, that causes it to have a bit of a delay there. So it's not a perfect square wave, because it's five instructions and four of those cause the LED to flash. Now, it's pretty boring at the moment, but I've got, I've only got 16 bytes of memory available in that program counter for, from the ROM. I'm going to expand that out a bit, make it maybe 8 kilobytes, which is what the ROM is, and have... Uh, more memory, of course, because it's, it's only one kilobyte. Then we are probably going to have some I.O. over here somewhere, I don't know. Then we're going to attach it to this printer. This old thing. Um, I got this from an old junk shop here in Adelaide. Um, I'm sure many of you know it as Robbie's. It's now closed, I think. Um, it's actually an old Canon printer. Well, it's from a Canon printer, but the actual printer unit itself is Epson but it was made before Epson was called Epson, I believe. Um, if I can zoom in with a struggle, you can see the drum here. If I take out the thing there, the ribbon, these numbers spin around, and then whenever we hit a relay, uh, no, a solenoid, sorry, it will print onto the paper whatever that number is. It's a pretty complicated mechanism. Well, it's actually relatively simple, but for, its, for what it has to do, it's pretty complicated. But it is delightfully simple at the same time. I quite like it. And, uh, yeah, got a little timer there as well. A triple five timer, that thing there. Just causing the clock. I think that's just about everything. I'm going to expand it, put circuit diagrams on the internet, of course, and we'll have some fun with it.